It's been a good day of work. <clears throat> good thing I didn't announce that that was going to be my last trip out there because there is a lot more wood to take. And it's all futzy work. But it's all BTUs, so I'll be thankful when we get into February and March and I've got enough wood. And then I spent the rest of the afternoon splitting up what I brought back in. Began to cut up more knuckle pieces that were accumulating under the sawbuck and around. And as I was doing that, I thought, well, I've got to put up some barriers on the knuckle bin. They're on a slope, and there's a physics principle where it will only take a, an angle of, of whatever before it, nothing will hold up there. It'll be just be rolling off when I throw it up there. So I had to make a... Went in the garage looking for 63-inch lumber. Well, we've got some 2x8s in there. Not needed for anything. They're just extra. And I remeasured and I could get by 60 inches long at a minimum. And there was a 10-footer in there. Ha, ha, ha. So I install that, those two. Good work. Oh, look at this. A shopper. Here comes a car. I'll be doggone. Isn't that something? Dennis is up. I hear his mower going over there. There's been some great cloud shows today. Did a couple of time lapses. I just remembered it. Something else I wanted to do this afternoon was go up to Summit Ridge. I hardly even know what I'm talking about either. It's a new name I gave to the trail that goes east off of the game trail, just before you get to the property line in the south where we head over to the south field. And I remember seeing three or four good candidates, birches, and they are fairly accessible. The ground is open up there. A lot more accessible than along here. And it's right on the trail, so I can get the wheelbarrow in there and haul them out. I'll show you the go through here. I don't ever go through here. Take a look at my fiddlehead ferns. So let's go up to Summit Ridge Trail. Yep, we're going that way. And I'm taking a chance. You know, I just mowed this three days ago. And I was noticing the trail that runs down to the Appaloosa Slope and up to the North Meadow. They're already two inches higher. We had two tenths of an inch of rain last night. Unexpected gift. 
And that reminds me, or has given me a good example of when I look at the future forecast and there's 0%, 2% chance of rain every day for the next five, six, eight days. That doesn't mean we're not going to get rain because these rain systems crop up. They can't possibly know about it three or four days out. There are two birch right there. Oops. Closer one. And the one farther back. I could take them both actually. This closer one is, yeah. There's another one right through there. And I looked at these back in, the, in April. D discovered them actually. Closest one here, that'll fall very advantageously through here. The one just behind it will fall that way, but yeah, I'm remembering now. Birches back in there, even this closer one. Yeah, I forgot about these, that there are many more than I remember. So this is Summit Ridge Trail. Well, this birch. Right there is leaning. That's where the game trail up here is. There's a little bit of, you know, there's a lot of undergrowth through here to fight with, but that's doable. All of these are doable. Yeah, that helps me get excited because I know I'm gonna need wood every single year, obviously, and I don't ever think about that. I just think about getting wood supply for this winter. It's wonderful working today in the cool. It did hit 70, but <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. I wanna take Turtle Trot Trail because because I haven't been down Turtle Trot Trail for a while. And I think there's been more action on trees falling. I know there has been. One that let go a week or 10 days ago up here, one that was broken off halfway up and was hanging. The part from the top hadn't let go completely, so it was hanging. That's the one I heard let go about a week ago. You see that one back there down on the ground it's hiding well I'm not gonna be able to continue going through here if mosquitoes are gonna be this tormentable this is my trail that went through last summer the one I opened up I can go under that leaning popple but further down there's another one across the trail and then you can see the big one oh, Jesus I'm coming I'm coming yeah, man, what a mess. I think this is the one. Maybe not. This may be the one that let go the other day that I heard from the house. Yeah, there are mosquitoes. I gotta get out of here. Isn't that dramatic? Still. Every so often I look at it and I think, oh, that's not going to be here. It's not permanent. And this leaner seems to be leaning more and more and more subtly, quietly, secretively. 
you know, it is leaning. Used to be much more straight up and down. I so love being out here in the summer. This placid paradise. And I get so used to it, accustomed to it. It's, it's here to stay. It's just always the way it is. No, it's not. And I forget that every year, every summer. This time of summer especially when we're in entering mid-September now. And I remember standing out here in the snowy trail that I had kept open and the snow was crotch high. And back then it seemed so permanent. This is never going to go away. Oh my God, how do we survive the eons of winter? Blowing zero degrees, snow measured in feet, not by inches. This is chicory again, and I was looking. I'm amazed every day I get up and I look out, and there are a half a dozen more brand new blossoms, and that sure fooled me. I don't think that's going to be a new one. But I, the one I was looking up at up there just a few minutes ago was I counted six new ones for tomorrow. They're enchanted plants. I it, every well uh -huh. every plant is enchanted. You can't just pick out one and say, "Wow, that's an enchanted plant." It is. But everything out here if you take a good close look at it, these are new blossoms. One there, one there. I guess that's my message for today, for myself. Get to know everything. And you'll find out that it's magically enchanted. Study up on it, read about it. Oh, there's another one. I have no idea what this is. But look at those tiny, tiny flowers. I just noticed this. This is the little, uh, the volunteer that came along at my steps. And it was finished blooming a week ago. I didn't pay much attention to it. And now look at all the... Excuse me. <laughs> Look at all the new flowers coming. All right. And my Christmas cactus that's been with me for, God, 25 years. I've never liked this thing. I ignore it as much as possible. A week ago, I thought, well, let's... Put it outside. No reason not to have it outside. Oh, what's the matter with me? You know, look at all these new growths. I'll probably relent when we get the threat of a freeze overnight. I'll have to bring it in because I'm not going to let it freeze and die. Now I'm, I'm repenting. Okay.
don't want to move that. I left it right where it was. Ghost. She would have let me know. Wouldn't that have been the courteous thing to do? The polite, the mannerly thing to do?